Hey there, welcome to this training. Three simple steps to attract more local customers and keep them coming back to your restaurant. Let me ask you something. How do you make money in your restaurant? Well, the answer should be pretty simple, right? You sell food to your customers at a profit, meaning hopefully they give you money for the food that you make. However, most small restaurants experience hard times or fail, and not because they don't want to pay for your food, but simply because they don't even know your restaurant exists in the first place. For many small restaurant owners, marketing and advertising is really a huge problem, right? You have a lot of things already, uh, many words that you're wearing on top of uh, trying to market a business, right? Trying to advertise and keep up with all the latest trends. It's just too much. Despite these difficulties, how is it that some restaurant may start very small but at the same time, they are able to attract customers every month and be able to grow their business. How is that possible? Hi, my name is Leo, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the system that I use for my clients to generate them new loyal customers every single month on demand. A little side note over here, this is a picture of myself with my four boys, my beautiful wife. We are, I believe, in South Lake Tahoe, what, three years ago, maybe, or so. And that's just, I just wanted to show you there so you can see a little bit more about me, but it's not about me, okay? It's about what I want, that the value that I'm trying to provide for you on this training. How to generate new loyal customers every single month on demand. On top of that, I'm going to be sharing about the biggest mistakes that I see restaurant owners make when it comes to getting new local customers. I'm also going to be sharing the three key components that a successful restaurant owner has in place that the struggling restaurants do not. And last but not least, I'm going to be sharing with you the simple, proven three-step system to generate local customers and how you can put this to work starting right now. So if you are a restaurant owner looking for a predictable way to attract local customers on demand and explore your business for rapid expansion, then you, my friend, are definitely in the right place. Some of the categories that I work with in the past and that this can work with is having Mexican restaurants, ice cream shops, right? But also I've seen the use in burger joints and pizzerias. Now, let me start with telling you the story about one of my clients, El Caracol Mexican Restaurant. They are located in Vacaville. They sell Mexican food, but they also throw in some uh, uh, little differences and nuances, right? Like the pupusas that are from El Salvador or... Uh, Garnachas, I can't remember if it's from Guatemala or Mexico, uh, but the owner, one of the owners went from Guatemala, so uh, there's a few plates that she makes from, from Guatemala as well. They bought this place for, uh, I want to say maybe five years ago, right, from uh, previous owners. The current owner, they used to manage restaurant for other, um, uh, you know, from for other people that own those, those restaurants and decided to go on her own and buy this buy, buy, buy this restaurant and um, make her, you know, owner uh, and run it. So, but one of the things she, she was struggling with when she first approached me is that um, she, she was taking on too much, right? Uh, the stress was really bad for her to try to deal with um, the operations in the restaurant, the kitchen, managing employees, and at the same time, she will get notifications from social media, which she didn't understand. She didn't have the time to understand what she was doing. But at the same time, she understood that something needed to be done to market the business, right? To continue to expose her restaurant to the local customer clientele. So obviously, they can continue to come back. Uh, she understood the importance of advertising because she has done it before. She had tried it. However, all this it was too much on her plate, right? The operations was taking her focus away from the marketing and, and, and customer acquisition. So one of the things that we did is once we started implementing the system is we noticed that even in the slowest months, which I believe were January and February, they were actually increasing the sales by even 20%, even on the slowest months. Uh, now, what this has allowed her to do, she understands that whatever we got in place, it's a um, system that she doesn't have to worry about the customer acquisition, right? Because customers just basically keeps increasing month after month. So her focus doesn't have to be about where would I get my customer next month? 
No, now she's what she's actually doing is trying to separate herself from the kitchen to concentrate in other areas to give her more time with the family. Uh, so she is looking for a uh, somebody to re uh, help her out as a kitchen manager in the kitchen. Um, and all the stuff that she's doing is growing her catering service business for the restaurant. So that's the power of you being able to have a system in place to bring your customers and bring them coming back and keep them coming back so that way you can do what is that you know you can do that thing that you desire to do either get more time back or improve other processes within your restaurant now this is another one um this was a chango chamoy ice cream shop in fairfield and since mid 2017 their sales have been going bad uh and down really bad right there had a partner that left a partner was the one that was promoting them on social media and different aspect uh so they had a great loyal base clientele right the sales were great however when that partner left obviously all that got shut down and manager came in telling them that they were gonna that manager was gonna help them but again that manager was she was doing it or her or him i don't know if it was a female or male um basically was scaring away or the loyal clientele and that's when things started go going really bad because the loyal customers were leaving and not coming back and the sales were struggling really bad. So when I came in, right, implemented the system, what this has allowed them to do is actually get uh, recover that loyal customer base that little by little keeps increasing it more and more with, and attracting more local customers in the area. Now, this is another client of mine, Los Altos Mexican Bar and Grill in Sassoon. Very great ambient, great full bar and food that they have they bought this place maybe four years ago it used to be known some uh, something else uh, it, uh, the name of the restaurant was something else when they took over almost four years ago uh they changed to those altos but one of the things that the owner mentioned to me when she first approached me is that leo you know even we've, we've been here for four years i feel that we're not reaching the amount of people we, sh we should be reaching uh i feel that not enough people know us for even though we've been open for four years right it's the same similar situation where the loyal customer base was so minimal that it wasn't allowing them to expand it, or the word of mouth effect wasn't as fast as they were hoping it would be especially after being open for four years so since we start implementing this system they seen a huge growth on their customers Based. They're seeing that more new customers are coming in and coming back and becoming loyal customers. But at the same time, we've been able to reach the English and Spanish market, right? What, uh, I'm bilingual, so that's one of the uh, things I can bring to your business to be able to tap into that market, the, the English and Spanish market. So the real reality is that having a successful restaurant in this day and age is about high quality converting and targeted traffic and be able to have a system that will turn that traffic into loyal customers that keeps them coming back and of course continue to have great food and service if you cannot pay money to acquire new local customers then you do not have a business it's more like a hobby let's face it and if you don't serve great food or provide great service no one will ever come back right so your marketing system will continue to attract your customer and just enhance how bad your place is if you don't serve great food and, and, and provide great service. Eventually, you know, you're going to run out of people to bring to your location because everybody will know how bad it is. So let's get down to business and show you the exact system I use for my clients to generate them new loyal customers and that you can apply to your business starting today. Two things that you will need to focus is obviously continue to serve great food and continue to provide a great uh, service and experience to your customers. The things that system will do for you is bring you new customers every month on demand and keep your local customers coming back. Are you not marketing the income you want right now? Or are you frustrated with your current marketing strategy that is just getting likes and followers versus spots and seats? And let me ask you something else. How many customers do you offer something to in the last seven days? And if you didn't offer anyone anything, they answer me this other question. What do you do in the last seven days to try and generate new customers? I hope you're starting to see the picture here, how, what the problem is, right? If you are 
focus on the operations of the business, you're obviously you don't have the capacity to be attracting and acquiring new customers, and that's a big gap in your in your, in your restaurant. Hope the again. I hope you're starting to see the picture there. What the the gap can be if you feel that um, you could use more customers in your restaurant. You see, sometimes it's easy to get distracted by new shiny objects. Um, the likes, the comments, shares on social media, all that is just shiny objects. That, that Those things are actually not bringing you new customers. They're just basically something that can be a burden on your side. If you're the one that's trying to control all that and, and respond to all the messages, um, see all the reviews, that doesn't bring you customers. See, when done right, a marketing system is like uh, like this, right? You put money in and basically it spits out new customers. That's just a, a metaphor, to, or not a metaphor, but that's just to give you a clear picture, right? Marketing should be like that. The money you put it in, uh, it should bring you more customers. You have some type of actual uh, um, result. And see, the longer you keep doing this, the more interested customers you will be able to capture and attract and obviously, the more revenue you will be able to generate from those customers that just keep coming back. It's like a snowball effect, right? You start small, but um, the more you keep going, the ball starts getting going bigger and bigger. Just think about the, the when you first opened, how many few customers barely knew about your place or how many few people really barely knew about the place, but the word of mouth effect just continued to bring new customers. However, having a system to put in place, it... It enhances that effect of the word of mouth because it's it does it can be done much faster. So what does the system looks like? Number one, we establish an online foundation, and we do this obviously by if you don't have a website, by make sure making sure that you have a website that represents your business. So imagine your physical restaurant location, right? Obviously. It will not exist if you don't have a place for people to come by or, or for you to go by and prepare your food, right? So uh, having a website is a similar extension of you online. And you cannot ignore being online. Just look at all your customers that are sitting down and coming to pay your, for your food. What did they do? What did they do when they even the line? A lot of them are on the phones. That's a lot of real estate that you cannot miss, right? Having your location, your front store, only capture so many people uh, going by, and it, it, it doesn't even capture the attention. It may capture the attention to go and try it, but the customers that don't know anything about it will be like going there with no knowing how to what to expect. Well, if you have an online presence, if you have a website, you have your you 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 have the you have the capacity to control your own story, and obviously that helps out to uh, inform and educate your customers a lot better than. Just simply having customers drive by or, or, or having just flyers around, yeah, right? You have an online presence that you can control. Uh, anything can happen, but you can control that uh, that online presence with your website. You can take it down you, or, or you can change things around. You own it, right? It's, it's, it's an extension of your property. It's an asset for your business. Number two, the other thing that we do is get you listed on popular local directories that will help your restaurants be found in different places online. So if you go back to when Yellow Pages existed when, before the internet, there was no really a way for people to find uh, information about um, a phone number or address of people that decided to be listed there or businesses that decided to be listed there, right? Unless you were within uh, driving distance or within the uh, same neighborhood, that's basically how people will know about your business. But other than that, people will like to perhaps explore other options. They will go up to the section of business or restaurant and see where, what uh, businesses were listed there. So now with the internet, all that is different, right? We have so many uh, yellow pages, so to speak, that we call the online directories that have a lot of influence power in people making decision and people being able to find the place in the first place, right? And a lot of these places are free. However, a lot of people are, may not be taking advantage of that. So get you, get yourself listed on the popular local directories. Uh, explore what sort of options are best for restaurants and for your local area. 
And again, you can just start with those that are free to be listed on. Why why would you would want to ignore or not take advantage of free advertising in a way? Number two, right? Number two, second part of this system is to entice is to create an enticing offer to be able to attract the right customers. So once you are have online visibility, you want to be able to reach your ideal customers idea, at the ideal time with an offer that is enticing enough to capture the attention, right? It's You want to have something that will make them instantly say, I have to try this place as soon as possible. Or maybe they, they will say to themselves, how is it possible that I have not been to that place before? I got to go. I simply got to go as soon as possible. And then they will start calling their friends. They will start talking to their friends on social media. Say, hey, we got to go and check out this place. And that's something that gets um, the balls rolling. And number three, right? Build a distribution channel to invite them to come back. Because again, why would you just um, in, uh, it totally ignore those people that already came and try you? And they liked your food, like you love your service. Why, why, why would you no, not concentrate on those people, right? Those people you already, um, you already basically did the efforts to attract them and get them to convert into customers. Now the effort to continue to ask them to come back doesn't have to be as bad. Do you know that the money that you pay to acquire a new customer is is a lot higher than the money that you pay to ask them to come back. I believe it's like 10 times higher than the money that it will cost you to attract, uh, to basically have your customers to come back. So let's not take, uh, let's not um, take this advantage of that opportunity or let's, let's not waste that opportunity. Uh, you, I'm sure you have a lot of situations where you yourself, right, have been in a position that, if you ever needed something, a service or a product, you are a lot more willing to go and check out or talk to that person if somebody else refers you or if you already knew about that service or done business with that place before, right? You are a lot more willing to go back to that place because you already know. We are creatures of habit. What we already know is comfort for us. So we can basically be open to come back. But again, if you are not inviting them to come back, right, they got so many other stuff going on in their mind, they will forget about you in an instance. So invite them to come back, build your distribution channels, and um, once you get the offer, right, continue, uh, build a distribution channel will uh, allow you to continue to invite them to come back and be able to follow them everywhere online. And we can talk more about that in other training, but just for time's sake, let's just continue going over here. So after you have your system in place, in a few months, you should be able to start seeing your restaurants reach uh, have, will have the capacity to reach hundreds or even thousands of existing fans of your restaurant that, again, you can continue to invite them to come back. So the results about having something like this in place and executing correctly is basically having that system that uh, that would allow you to generate new loyal customers every month. It's like cracking the code to customer acquisition. And again, this consists of four different parts, right? The message, the market, meaning obviously the people, the targeting, how you're going to reach them, the media, right? How, uh, what, sort of, what sort of, uh, Places they're gonna be are hanging out the most, right? What locations are, or what places they like to hang out the most, and the system, right? The, the system what puts all and holds all this together. So now let me ask you this: Would you prefer to go the hard way and try to figure out the combination to uh, be able to know what you need to do to attract new customers and like a lock pad? Try to try to. It might it might take you ten thousand different combinations to figure out what to do there? Or would you rather to go the easy way and basically let me hang you the code to be able to open that that uh, lock pad? Again, and because I cannot, what, what I wanted to 
be honest with you over here and open is that right you've seen what the system uh basically is about right i i paint you sort of a picture and hopefully made you understand what uh some of the things that i have in place for my clients is that what makes it work and so i would like to extend you an offer but if you don't want that you can just get out right i basically cover everything that i needed to get out if you want to go and try to figure out yourself, you, by all means, right, go ahead and, and do that. And there's so many resources you can go and, and find for free online, YouTube, Google, right? But if you are more serious about your business and would like to have to have someone there with you, next to you, working with you, giving you basically the instructions or, or doing it for you, then stay tuned. But before we do go and uh, advance more, uh, there are three types of clients that um, I like to work with because I have some openings here to work with you. I like to work with those restaurants that would like to increase the exposure on the, in the area. I like to work with those restaurants that uh, would like more customers walking through their door. And last but not least, right, uh, I like to work with those customers or, or, or those that would like more money from each customer. And again, because I cannot work with everybody, hopefully this will help you clarify a little bit more who is this for. So this is for those restaurant owners that are currently in business and making progress. This is for those restaurant owners that have a fast casual or sit down restaurant and are eager to grow. This is for people who know they are good at what you're doing and believe that you can dominate your marketplace. And this is for people who understand that in order for you to be successful, you need to have some scheme in a game. Who is this not for? Uh, this is not for people who are interested in starting a restaurant, in a restaurant business. You should have already a business in place or a restaurant in place in order for something like this to work, right? You have so many other things to go through if you're just starting a, a restaurant. Uh, this is not for people who make excuses and complain. Because if we if if a system like this gets put in place, you continue to blame everything else, but actually look at the core of the problem. So, for that, my friends, this is not going to work for you. This is not for people who are stuck in information gathering mode and are not prepared to take action and get results. Right? Go ahead, go ahead and continue to do your research. If that's what you need to do, hey, by all means, go ahead and continue to do your research. Continue to gather information. Once you're ready to take actions and you decide that this is something you would like to explore further please come back and we can talk then this is not for people who are content with their current state and are not serious about exponentially growing their restaurant business if that was the situation you should have been off this training a long time ago and you should not even click on the training period right if if, if uh if you see something in the training that says how to attract more local customers obviously uh you wouldn't be here so if you're content about your current situation, by all means, right, uh, this is not for you. Continue to do what you were doing. So now, what's the offer, right? Uh, with the offer first is um, I'd like to invite you to a personal custom tailor one-on-one strategy session with you and me. This is where we really begin working to figure out what you want and how to make it happen. So go on and... Uh, look at below right right now and click on the button to be able to apply for this strategy session that will get you more, more butts in seat so again just you click on the link below uh, it will take you to complete a form where you need to answer some more information and it's be able to schedule a time and date and time so that the both of us can talk and see if this is something that it's a good fit for you and your business all right have a good one bye